Hello, E.G. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm doing super. How are you doing? I'm excellent. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. Well, let's talk a bit about uh, the new song you've got, uh, So Pretty, uh, and the story behind it. I think it, it definitely uh, makes a lot of sense in today's climate. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, it's just, um, it's a brand new song and video, but what's more important is there's got this uh, movement attached to it that I feel is just really important right now because there's so much importance on on our outsides and, you know, there's there's people doing things to their outsides that's actually putting them in danger at times, you know, with some of the procedures and stuff. And I, and I think all that's, it's, it's great to want to look good on the outside, but it's really important to take care of your insides and make sure you're filling up and looking as beautiful as you can on the inside. And that's what the whole So Pretty movement is about. It's about really embracing each other for the beautiful people we are, for how kind you are, for how many amazing things you do for yourself and others. I mean, I think it's really important today to get off ourselves and get about being of service, which is starting to have to happen because there's been so many crazy things going on in the world. Yeah, absolutely. And I know you have a, a Kickstarter campaign attached as well. Yeah. And you've got a lot of cool uh, gifts for people who want to contribute. Yeah, the Kickstarter is really more so for about us to have people be part of the movement. It's really about we want to connect. And so if you go to the EG Daily on Kickstarter, there's different perks you can get from Kickstarter. The Kickstarter, I think we've only got like nine days left on the Kickstarter, but so I'm encouraging everybody to go there. There's all kinds of things you can get, like signed autographs. You can also do things bigger that are like um, do a really beautiful, intimate dinner with my tribe and I. There's going to be luncheons with Q&As. It's really about getting people involved in the movement and participating in the song so they're part of helping the song and the, and the movement become uh, global, go global. So, But it's also, I just really love to connect to my friends and fans, and it's a way for me to connect to you. And, and so... Um, yeah, it, there's bigger, small perks you can get. It's just a really fun way to connect and have them be part of my tribe. Awesome, yeah. And, and you mentioned um, going back to the song "So Pretty." I, I know you have a, a video you're working on, and um, you had a chance to uh, yeah. to feature your daughters in it as well. So I mean, that's uh, yeah. That's the cool. video's out. Thank you. The video's out right now. You can get it on my YouTube page, Each Daily, or just go on YouTube and punch in "So Pretty Each Daily" and subscribe to my YouTube. But the video's out. It's really fun. The song's out on iTunes, or you can stream it right now. So pretty. Check it out. Um, or my website, egdaily.com. But it's everything's out there right now. And um, there's so much other fun stuff, too, that I do. I mean, a lot of people know I do the voice of Tommy Pickles, and Rugrats just got a reboot, and we're going to be doing more episodes, and just a whole bunch of really fun stuff. And, yeah, I just love connecting to people. So I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing from people. If they have messages for me, they can private message me on things or questions about voiceover, or questions about acting. I have a voiceover seminar. There's just so much stuff on the website, ways to connect. Well, E.G., are you working on any new music uh, besides uh, So Pretty? Or are we going to see maybe another new album down the road? Oh, wow, yeah. Well, I've been writing a lot of stuff lately. Um, right now, I'm just focusing on So Pretty, but I have other songs actually that kind of are ready to go now. But I don't. I haven't thought that far out like into, like, do I want to do a whole other album? Because right now, the climate of, like, it just feels like I'd rather just stick to, like, doing the one-offs right now and not have the pressure of doing a whole album. Although I have a whole bunch of new material that I could put the whole record together. It's just not the priority right now. The priority is kind of bigger and doing things globally that are going to matter more for the planet and not focusing on doing a whole album right now. Just, like, songs that actually matter. And I do a lot of animal activism um, you know, I'm I'm all about trying to help, you know, be a voice for animals. So a lot of the music and the more success we have with the music is I donate more to, like, um, animal causes. And I work with a lot of animal organizations. There's one called Tom, Toby Small Dog Rescue on Instagram that's amazing, and I do a lot of fostering for them. So it's really about just taking this song for now, So Pretty, and making it go global with the message and reaching people on a bigger level, and then we'll do another song. It's There's so much material that I have ready to go. It's just, I don't want to commit to a whole album right now. Well, yeah, and of course, um, you know, you're one of the few people who have had major success, you know, with both music and acting, and then you throw in the voiceover work and the activism you mentioned. I mean, you must be working every minute you're awake these days. No, I don't actually. I'm not actually, I don't make it crazy for myself. I just have a really pretty, I kind of schedule little time for my music every day and then a little time and then I go do my voice work and then I do my activism but I'm not like I don't I don't want to make it to where it makes it it's 
hectic. I try to just keep a nice balance of everything. And then I'm a mom, so I just take care of my kids and my animals. And I just try to keep a balance, you know, which is kind of what the So Pretty movement is about. It's about having balance on the inside, you know, so you feel good on the outsides. It's, it's all about just really taking care of your insides, and that includes keeping a balance in your life and not getting overwhelmed and putting yourself in a position where you're feeling stressed out all the time because you're out of balance and your insides are not feeling settled. You know, I'm all about supporting your insides. For sure. And, and I know you're also uh, working on a, a one-woman show. Yeah, the one-woman show is this beautiful, um, it's all true, it's all about all kinds of things. It talks about the journey, my journey in the industry, but it's got a lot of incredible messages. And that's up on egdaily.com as well. Um, it's... Um, it's a one-woman autobiographical musical, and you can download it. That's actually available on the Kickstarter for way less. It's actually, we're giving it away for like a very, way much, way less than it actually is on the website. If they go to Kickstarter, they can check that out. It's got lots of music in it. It's like a one-woman autobiographical musical. Um, and the message, again, is ca- it's, that's called Listen Closely, and it's about listening to your insights. Again, it's all tying together with the So Pretty movement. Awesome. Well, again, EG, I'm a big fan, and uh, we actually spoke a, a few years back, and it, it's amazing all the different, uh, you mentioned uh, Rugrats uh, getting a reboot, and I know a lot of people know you from uh, the cartoon work, and of course, uh, you know, all the great uh, films you were in, and then, you know, the horror fans know you from working with Rob yeah, Zombie. Yeah, so much fun. Yeah. yeah, it's so much fun. They should follow me on Instagram, Real EG Daily, Real EG Daily on Twitter and Instagram, and, and I post a lot of stuff about all the different projects and stuff on there, too, yeah. There's so many fun Rob Zombie fans that I have, too. I want to say hi to them, all my zombie fans. I wanted to ask you maybe on the acting front, is there something maybe we should be uh, looking out for you? Um, I'm actually um, I'm actually just looking at some different projects. I don't have anything that I've, I've locked down on yet, but I'm looking to do some more some episodics. And then I'm also, um, I've got some feature things I'm looking into right now, too. I've got a, a feature that I'm, I'm supposed to be doing, but I, I can't say yet what that is, but... Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing a little more on camera. That would be fun, too. Awesome. I know we're running out of time. Um, I just had a, a quick question, kind of an odd one, but I remember you from when I was younger um, working with Crispin Glover in uh, The Orkley Kid. I was just wondering if you had any memories of that. Oh, my gosh, Zaga, you're going way back. That's amazing. <laughs> that was so funny with Crispin. Um, gosh, I haven't seen that in so long. I, I think it's all online somewhere, The or- or- Orkley Kid. Yep. What a strange little project, but I loved it. It was a very small project, but it was it was kind of strange how, how many people saw that. Yeah, I guess you never know what uh, people are going to remember you for. No, I just love that you even brought that up. I can't even believe you brought that up. That's not one usually people do, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Well, again, yeah. the, the uh, Kickstarter campaign out for uh, So Pretty. Yeah. and Again, EG, I, I'm a huge fan, as I mentioned, and it's always great to be speaking with you, and good luck with everything. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on, and um, and thanks so much, guys. Look forward to hearing from you on on social media. Take care, everybody.